Hi, my name is Andreas Fallman. I'm a comparative physiologist and I work for a foundation in Spain called Oceanographic Foundation and also for Cold Modern Wildlife Park in Sweden. And what we're doing here today is we're trying to measure how many calories it takes to be a rough to the dolphin. And this is really important because we're trying to understand how many fish these animals eat in the ocean. With climate change, we have changes in, in the water. Water is changing in temperature and this is changing potentially how much food is available for these animals at different depths. And also we have fishermen that also use this resource to capture fish for, for our consumption and to be able to make sure that these animals have enough food in the ocean, we need to do these measurements. What we measure is called the oxygen consumption rate. So we measure how much oxygen is consumed by the animal. And we do this with a device called a spirometer or a pneumotachometer. And it's basically a flow meter that sits over the blowhole and we measure how much air is coming in and out of the animal. And we can then measure how much oxygen is used for what's called respiration, taking food and then burning it and creating energy. So we come in in the morning uh, before he's eaten and then we do these measurements and we then wait for two hours after he's eaten and do the measurement again. We're using this species um, as a part of a bigger study where we also study bottlenose dolphins, we study killer whales, we're studying beluga whales and being able to see the differences between species. So we're trying to see how they function differently and then how they potentially respond different, differently to changes in the environment due to climate change or overfishing. These animals that are in human care are really important because it gives us an opportunity to do measurements under controlled circumstances. So we know the health of this animal, we know the age of this animal. This animal has excellent veterinary care, he has excellent diet. We can make comparison in the diet, so we can look at capelin versus herring, which may be a change in what they have available in the ocean. And this is the same thing as we're looking at our diet being a salad versus a hamburger. So we can then look at what impact that has on these animals. With this information, then we can say, this is normal. This is a healthy rough to the dolphin. Then we can do measurements in the wild, and we can then see how healthy are wild populations. In human care, we can then use this device to help the veterinarians diagnose um, different diseases and we can also help with treatment. So we can do repeated measurements during treatment to make sure and see how that is affecting the, the health of the wounds. I also would like to thank Clearwater Marine Aquarium for allowing us to come here. These facilities that house animals in human care are really important. They're important so we can get these measurements and this will help us uh, do better conservation in the wild.